Hey there guys, Zach here from Winbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10532. This build was released to insiders earlier today and includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10525. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with the context menus. Now Microsoft says that they are improving the consistency of context menus throughout the operating system. So as you can see on the desktop, the context menus are now a little bit larger. I'm not entirely sure if that's just because I'm using this device with a touch screen or if they are actually this size now. Uh, they look very nice, very modern. Uh, they're very similar to the, um, to the Windows 10 RTM context menus, if I'm honest. Actually, I lie, they're not. Or are they? Let's find out. I'm gonna right click on my desktop. No, they're, they're pretty they're pretty similar. Um, uh, just on this build, they are just a little bit larger. So if you're running the Windows 10 RTM, they kind of look the same right now, but they have changed on the on the taskbar. If you right click the taskbar in build 10,532, you get a very sexy looking dark context menu. Uh, now Microsoft says, says that they are working on the light and dark theming across the operating system. So hopefully this is the first of many areas in which we'll re receive the dark treatment. Uh, it looks pretty good. It works on the uh, start, bu start button as well. And I imagine down here, nope. Okay, so there are still <laughs> context menu inconsistencies of this build. So the context menu aren't the same everywhere as you see it's the same here and technically the same here even though it's a different color if we open file explorer i imagine it'll be the same here as well yes it's all the same within file explorer but if we launch microsoft edge and right click on i know this area here we get this silly windows 8 style context menu and um and it's really kind of annoying and jarring if you will so if we right click that so these are also different they're not they're not the same. They're, they're, they are not the same context menus that are found on the desktop just a minute ago. So if I right click on this. So yeah, no, it's a completely different context menu. Or it looks, maybe not. I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's t slightly different, but I'm not entirely sure. So I guess we'll have to, you'll have to make your own chat, but I'm pretty sure they're a little bit different. Anyway, moving right along to actually, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're, they're a little bit different. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, also, look, you can actually see them here. They're the same. So these are the same as uh, in Edge. But are they the same here? Perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. They look, they look similar, but I think they might be a little bit different. Anyway, enough of context menus. Let's move on to other things. So the other change in this build is with the feedback app. So if we launch feedback... You can now share your feedback with others quite easily. So if we go, I don't know if it's just your own feedback or if you can share any feedback, let's find out. Yes, so if you press the share button, uh, so if you want to share internal feedback, I would absolutely love to. And then you can share it to your favorite social networks or email or, you know, you can share it there. So let's share it to Twitter. Actually, I don't think I'm signed into Twitter. I'm not. So yes, and then you can share it to Twitter and that's how that would work. Is there anything else new? I do not believe so. Nope, that's it. So that's the only two new features in this build, really. Uh, the context menus, I'm, I'm still not convinced. Like, for example, if we go into here, if I click on that, that is a completely different context menu to what is found here and what is found in Edge. I'm pretty sure they're different from the Edge and Desktop, but I guess that'll be down to you to decide. So there you have it, guys. That's a quick look at Windows 10 build 10,532. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.